What's good guys, I'm New Brad Clothing and today you're joining me in my kitchen where I'm going to show you how to make hats fit on your head better. Oh god, bad intro. So for those of you guys who buy hats all the time, we've all had that dope hat that we can't wait to come in the mail. It comes in the mail, we open it up out of the package, it's still looking dope, right? You put it on your head and it looks like shit, like you look like an asshole in it. We've all had that hat. What I'm going to do with this video is I'm going to save you the step of throwing your dog through your TV screen in a fit of rage really because your hat doesn't fit and uh, I'm going to show you how to make it fit in under a day with a few simple steps. Alright, so the hat I'm working on today is this 10 deep wave hat. It says slave to the wave right here. Definitely a sick hat, but it just doesn't fit well. As you guys can see, we have like a massive box look going on here. Anyway, join me at my sink now as we make our fucked up hats fit our fucked up shaped domes. Alright? Now one thing I do want to mention before you guys start going all out on this, we are going to be soaking the hat and we are going to be wearing it. So make sure you got about three to four hours where you're not doing shit because you're going to be wearing it while it's wet. Alright, now before we get into this, here's it one more time. It doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in real life. Like in real life, these are just poking the fuck up. But it doesn't matter. Let's start. First thing you guys want to do is turn on your cap. Do it in a safe manner. I can't explain any injuries to your parents. Alright, so turn it on. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's not safe sounding. Alright, so put your hat under the water here and just start drenching the shit out of it. Now the main part you're going to want to focus on if you're wearing it forward is this part right here and the inside crown. Just make sure it's wet all the way through uh, so you can see the color change right there. Now even if you guys do have a plastic brim, still refrain from getting it completely soaked just so it doesn't warp. I don't know if it can or not, but I don't want it to on you guys. And also one thing I want to mention, make sure this is hot water too because I feel like, I don't know, it just loosens it up a little bit more. Alright, the soaking process is done. Now what you guys are going to want to do is take the snaps, uh, put it to where it fits best on your head and just pretty much place it on. So I'll do that now. Alright, so once it's on, just put it exactly how you would like it to fit. Like if you wear your hats up here, wear it like that. If you guys wear your hats down here, wear it like that. Now if you guys also want to, you can put paper towel on the inside, it doesn't matter. I don't really care about getting my head wet, but if I did, paper towel would work. Alright, so now you guys have the wet hat on your head. Now remember, you're going to keep this hat on until it dries. Because if you don't do that, it's going to shrink and it's going to just fit weird. It's going to fit even worse, actually, once you put it on. So yeah, put on the hat. Do not take it off until it's dried. If you guys got to go for a shower for five minutes and whatever, it doesn't matter. But just keep it on for the majority of the time until it dries. Now if you guys don't want a curved brim, just keep it how it is. You can actually mold it up if you guys want to. But if you guys want to curve your brim, you guys know the classic way is to just curve it with your hands. The way I'm about to show you, honestly, it works a lot better for me and it kind of holds long term. I personally like my hats curved a little bit like that. So what I have here is a thick rubber band. Now I just do thick because they don't snap, they're a little bit stronger. And I will just put it on the brim of my hat just like this and curve it. So it looks ridiculous, I know, but it works. As you guys can see, it does add a little bit of a curve to it. If that's not enough curve, what you're gonna do is take another rubber band and curve it even more. All right, so now that you guys are looking like a fucking lunatic, uh, just keep this on till it dries and the curve should dry nicely and this should dry your head. All right guys, so we're about two hours later now and this thing is still a little bit damp, but honestly, we're done, I think. We got it all broken in. I had the elastic bands on it the whole time, so we do have a nice curve on it too, but uh, yeah. So here's how it looks off head now, a lot different. As you guys can see, it just totally took the shape of my head. So that's it for the video, guys. I kind of just wanted to put it out for you because I've been doing this method for about three years now and I thought it's probably important to share so uh, if you guys like this please give this video a thumbs up if we can get it to 500 that would be sick and also leave a comment down below if you liked it as well do you guys think it looks better let me know down below if it doesn't look better don't fucking tell me that dude